So I thought I'd do a quick video tonight on bar tape. Um, on my Cannondale, I'm still running the original bar tape that came with the bike, and this is several thousand miles over. Uh, been on there over a year. It's it's in okay condition. Um, it's not torn or ripped or anything, but where I hold on to it, it's getting flat. It's getting worn down. It's starting to show its wear, and it's time to get put some fresh tape on it. Um, I have to say I'm impressed with the the factory tape that came on it. I believe it's, you know, it's whatever their stock tape is. I think they call it uh, 2.5 millimeter gel. Um, I've always run, on any of my bikes, a 2.5 millimeter uh, gel tape. With that said, uh, I'm trying something a little different this time. Um, I'll show it to you in a minute. We'll do a little unboxing, and then I'm going to go put it on the bike. I'm probably not going to do a video of me wrapping bar tape on the bike, because if you look on YouTube, there's probably just short of a million videos on people wrapping their bar tape and some do it the right way, some do it the wrong way, some do it their way. Hey, as long as it works and doesn't come unraveled, whatever works for you. Um, I will say I think the best video I've ever seen for wrapping bar tape is the one put out by uh, Pork Tool. Um, it, it was an excellent tutorial. He, he went over different ways to do it, every different method and stuff. Uh, the one piece I disagreed with a little bit is, you know, uh, they give all the little cheater strips, filler strips, whatever you want to call to put over the uh, the clamp for the shifter. Um, you're supposed to use that if you don't do a figure eight. And he said that, or you could use it here, but then he put it on and did the figure eight, which kind of negates the use of having to use that piece of tape anyway. So that might have just been uh, a little whoops in the video, but I think it's... it's it, it's like 16 minutes long. I was like, I'm going to really watch this wrapping bar. And I actually watched it all. It was actually pretty good. So I think I'm going to link to that right over here. Um, so you can click on that, uh, you know, when this video is done. You've got to watch this one all the way through. And then click on that and then watch it and, and uh, uh, give it a shot. So uh, without any further ado, let's do a little unboxing and I'll describe this tape. Oh, I so as I said, uh, we're going to do a little unboxing and this is what it is. Ta-da! It is Physique Super Light 2 millimeter Thick Tacky Touch Bar Tape. I like uh, grip on my bar tape. Some people like it. The Classic, which is a little more slick. Some people like the suede soft feel. Um, I want my hands to stick on, on that bar. So, without any further ado, let's open this up and see what we got in the package here. Let's pop this guy out here. All right. Cooperate with me. Let's... Open the sides. They really packed this thing good. There we go. And now here's what we got inside. We got our two rolls of tape. We got our bar end plugs, which I probably won't use because my bike has screwing ones. And of course, Uh, our consumer products warranty. We don't need that. Um, there's supposed to be cheater strips in here somewhere too, supposedly, which actually I, I won't even use because um, it looks like they're in there. They're stuck in the middle of it here. That's an inter. Oh no, that's the that's the decorative tape for the end. Ooh, look at that! Isn't that fancy? But anyways, this tape has a nice texture to it, if you can see. It's got a nice grippy set section. It really feels like, you know, your hand's not going to move on this. Um, obviously, it's not overly padded. It's because it's two millimeters thick. It still has a slight taper to it. Um, so I think this will work out fine for me. Um, I find that bulky tapes don't work very well for me because I have small hands and I don't want to feel like I'm trying to grip some big, gigantic uh, baseball bat or something. Um, you know for hours on end so I find a thinner bar I don't even wear gloves anymore because I find they just um, well there is a little piece of tape yeah we don't need that either so <laughs> with that said uh, I'm gonna get over the bike I'll show you what the tape looks like on the bike right now and then I'll wrap it up and then show you the finished finished product and give me my initial impressions of how it feels so far I really like to feel this um, I think it's I'd like I like this pattern too uh, I mean uh, some people like logos, some people don't. I, I kind of like, I mean, I have other physique things on the bike, so that, that'll work well. Um, this kind of harkens back a little bit. It's 
a kind of physique's take on you know maybe having the the contrasting stitching through it they just have contrasting logos through it you know and on the bike you don't see all these you really don't see one side because the other side is getting covered up as you wrap the tape um, so without further ado let's head over to the bike and take a look at that so here are my workshop aka the uh, living room and this is a view of the factory Cannondale bar tape it's not the worst wrapping job that you get but not the best one either um, if you can see here, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, you can see how this is worn and flat spotted. There's like no padding there at all. I'm touching the bar. Um, if you lift up the hoods a little bit, you start seeing some sweat stains. Um, I'm really curious to see what the bars look like underneath the padding. Um, if they're going to need a little bit of cleaning or not, if my sweat went through there or not. Um, but it'll be interesting to see. Uh, as you can see here, pardon the dog toys on the floor. They didn't pick up today. Um, I've got these bar end plugs that screw in with the Allen key that they don't come out. That's what I'll be using. So I won't be using the physique ones that come with the, the kit. But if you want wanted to, you could use those as well. They just pop right in. I've used those on plenty of other bikes. So I've taken off the bar tape on the left side. I'm leaving the right side on just so I can do a comparison of feel from the left to right, you know, just to give you guys some feedback of what it feels like. Um, bars look excellent. Um, little tape residue here. Uh, that's kind of a nasty taping job to hold these things up. Uh, we can do much better than that. We'll be uh, changing that anyways because I want to move this tape down. Um, but overall, there's really no sweat stains in the bar. I'm going to give them a quick clean with some Goo Gone to get some of this, this uh, sticky residue off. Take this tape off first, clean it, rewrap this stuff, and then I'm going to tape it up. And then I'll show you that and give you a little impressions on comparing it to, to that bar, that side. So here's the left side finished product. All wrapped up, bar and plug in, hood on. Notice nice figure, whoop, my fingers in the way, nice figure eight right there. Um, first impressions is it's very grippy, very tacky, exactly what I wanted. Um, can't really, uh, you know, my hand was going to stick well on it if it gets sweaty. Um, the old candle tape, I had a lot more movement on it. Uh, when I first got it, it was pretty tacky, but now it's just kind of worn down to nothing. Uh, as you notice, I wrap to the outsides. I know a lot of pro mechanics will wrap to the insides. Um, my hands tend to go out. Um, you really should just wrap it, not because one person does it one way or the other, but which way your hands rotate in the bars. When I'm up on the bars, I'm probably turning in, tightening up this way. Some people will rotate back. Um, I might sit back, but I'm not going to put pressure on it. Usually my hands are very light when I'm climbing. If, um, if I do anything, I'm going to twist forward or twist it outside. A lot of people just say you should wrap it where your fingers go, but there are some pros. I guess when they sprint, they, they turn their wrist in. Sorry for the bad camera angles. Um, like this. So in that case, you'd want to wrap it to the inside. But uh, So, neat job. Overall impressions, other than tackiness, is... Slightly less padded than the Cannondale 2.5 since this is only two millimeters um, Not a whole lot of difference here um, Honestly if I didn't have them side by side, I don't know if, if I could tell or not um, These edges seem to be a little more pronounced right now probably because of brand new tape This is worn in over the years. So it's it's a little smoother I did uh, take a micrometer to the old tape I pulled off to see what the thickness was on this, you know, after it's been worn down. And in some cases, it is uh, two millimeters, you know, especially here where it's worn down or where I grab in the drops, it, it's, it's, it's two millimeters. Um, so with that said, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go do the other side um, and uh, get on with my night. So here's the finished product of the Physique Superlight two millimeter thick tacky bar tape. Nice even wrap. Everything looks good. As you can see, I'm using the Cannondale end plugs. These are the ones that come with Physique. These just pop right in. These have the Allen key, so you screw them in tight. They, they won't come out. So I just prefer to use these. I think they just look a little bit classier. The uh, finishing strip. I use electric tape on the bars. Uh, pretty much, that's what you should use to hold them. This really isn't meant to hold the bar wrap, this is just to make it look pretty afterwards. I've seen some people overlap it and you get a big crease in here and it just looks nasty. Um, the idea of this is after you use the electrical tape, you wrap this over it, 
right up to the edge so it gives a nice finished appearance if you want something like that um, I just prefer to leave it plain with the electrical tape right there so I've had a couple opportunities to ride the physique bar tape now and overall I think it's a fabulous tape uh, you know being a thinner tape than what I had on before actually for me suits me better it's a lot more comfortable in my hand um, the, the, the grip on the drops it, it just feels so much better yeah you know, I just want to ride there all the time now um, you know overall comfort I mean most of the time you're riding on the hood so the comforts coming from you know whatever cushion is in the hoods but riding on the tops you know when I'm climbing and I'm, I'm holding on so much more grip I don't have to worry about slipping off um, not that the other tape really slipped off but as it wore it did but this stuff you know if I sweat all over or it's raining or something it's still tacky as hell it's really good um, so I highly recommend this tape for anyone. I'm going to throw a link down below um, in the comment section below um, of you know where you can order this on Amazon. Uh, I think it's a great value for the money. Um, I'm not sure if I'd want to you know this little padding you know if you're if you're running like Paris Roubaix or something uh, or even cyclocross. I, I may want to step up to the, you know stay with 2.5 for, for cyclocross depending on the course but I don't know I, I might try this on my cross bike um, I, the grip is, is phenomenal so um, you know as the cross it gets muddy and wet and you slip and slide this might just eliminate that and it just feels so good to hold on to but anyways uh, overall it's a great tape um, let me give you a couple of uh, shots now of how it looks on the bike you know out here in the beautiful weather we have so here it is on the bike as I look down at it I'll try to zoom in on, on the wrap, nice tight wrap, you know, overall, you know, when I'm climbing, I hold, I hold on like this, I twist forward, or I just rest my hand this way and I'm pushing forward and my hands don't want to move off this, even when it gets wet and sweaty, it, it's terrific. So go out and get yourself some Physique Super Light Bar Tape. So as always, I want to thank you for watching, um, please subscribe. Uh, you know click on the little logo at the end of this video or down below to subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up